overflowing sewage drains and inches of water in flooded basements. That's what people in Niles are dealing with tonight. Yeah, it happened after heavy rains flooded the streets. Matt Stone was in a Niles neighborhood and spoke with the city on what they're going to do to fix the issue. My basement's flooded. I can't take another freaking disaster. Let's talk about the west side. I'm dealing with four foot of sewage water in my basement, but everything's gone. Everything is gone. All my canning, my antiques. When inches of rain fall within a short amount of time in a small area, that water has to go somewhere. In this case, people who live along Victor and West Park Avenues and 5th Street in Niles found themselves with flooded basements and yards after the storm sewers there could not handle all the rain. Around three inches fell in under six hours here. Kim Parker told 4th Ward Councilman Al Cantola that this isn't the first time this has happened to her. He says the, the city is busy That's pumping water from you. homes as fast as they can. I don't have the right answer for when things back up or when we get this much rain and the ground is this saturated that it just backs up. This isn't fair to you as a homeowner? Absolutely not. Fair to have to turn in something to your insurance company? Absolutely not. Twice in a month. But we need to just continue to work on our strategy in the city. How many claims are you going to have before they drop you? The Niles mayor says the city does maintenance on the storm sewers throughout the year to make sure they don't get plugged up. They're working daily to make sure the lines are flowing clear. Um, city is conducting uh, studies in problematic areas to try to address some of this flooding. But here, homeowners are saying they don't think those lines were clear. With more local news, I'm Matt Stone.